Hey, good morning guys, it's Joey, coming at you from the trail. Oh, I just had an oh no moment. Uh, I thought I hit play. I thought I hit play on um, the video button here, and apparently I didn't. So I've been talking, and it didn't record anything. And I, there was a great blue heron on yonder, and it circled twice. And then it circled right here, right above me. And I thought I had recorded all of that. <laughs> and I got none of it. None of it. But that's okay. That is okay. I witnessed it. I experienced it. It's, it's up here. It's up here. Um, with social media, sometimes we get into this mode where like, we have to share everything. And if it didn't get recorded, it didn't happen. So that's where I'm like... Hey, can't think that way, can't be that way. It's all right. I don't have to share everything. I do not have to share everything. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, um, I was going to read to you guys from Ephesians chapter 3, verse 21. Um, because right as I was about to leave, after I finished my prayer and meditation, uh, this thought came to me. Um, and... This thought was sparked by this verse. Unto him be glory. In the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages. Worlds without end. Amen. So this is a prayer that Paul is saying um, for us throughout all the ages. And what really jumped out to me was where he said a world without end. In for a second, it was really hard for me to, to fathom truly what a world without end would even be like, how it would feel like. Um, but then I remembered, you know, that world is going to be the kingdom of the Heavenly Father. So, for me at least, that brought me a feeling of peace and comfort because... I think what if that eternal living would be something like this, where I get to enjoy being out here every day and doing this and being here in nature and just being in the moment. I'm like, that would be pretty, pretty amazing. So I don't know, like I said, I just had to share that with you guys. Can you fathom what a world without end would be like? And it's something really to chew on, I think, so. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, and I also recommend just uh, reading chapter 3 in Ephesians. Um, I got my new Bible, but I forgot it uh, at home this morning. It's actually pretty pretty neat it's smaller um than i thought it was going to be but uh it's good i have a one of these hoodies with a little pouch so i think it'll fit like right in the pouch so that'll be good so i can carry it and i have to uh rummage through my backpack um but maybe tomorrow like i said I'll, I'll bust it out here and i'll show it to you guys uh but with that i leave you i'm going to enjoy the rest of this saturday morning uh and ponder on what an eternal world with no end would be like um so with that, I leave you guys. Uh, please say hello, like, share, subscribe. We'll talk again soon. Stay blessed.